today I am going to show you how I make 10 breakfasts and one pizza lunch using one batch of fat fat dough. Hey, what's up? How you doing? How are you today? How is your day going? How is your Saturday going? Are you enjoying it? Maybe it's not Saturday for you when you're watching this, but truly truly how are you doing i really do care i want to know let me know in the comment below how you're feeling today my name is esther lawi and no you are not crazy my voice is not matching the video i know it's a long story but my name is esther like i said and this is my channel and in this channel i touch on many things and today is my esther's life segment and you will enjoy this video if you've never been here before hey welcome you look wonderful you are very loved and it's gonna be okay and if you've been here before hey welcome esther fam i love y'all y'all amazing all right let's get into this video like i said i know i know my voice is not matching my video just be amused by my facial expressions and you know listen to my voice and today's video you're gonna love it you're gonna love it hey folks how are you all doing so i know lately a few of my videos have been this way lots of voiceover and whatnot and i hope that's okay um by the way let me know in the comment below if that is something that you actually do like or you kind of like that me looking at you and you know tucking your ear off <laughs> with all my facial expressions and whatnot so today's video is gonna be something that i think you would truly enjoy because I am here to help you survive that halfway through our Kiddo FM um, six weeks trial. So stay tuned for a very, very useful video. All right. I love y'all. See you soon. I am making this right now and we are in our second week since we finished the Kiddo Masterclass for Beginners. So I just wanted to share with you how I save money and time and bake <laughs> and make my bread okay so I just made fat head dough um, it's the easiest thing I'll just tell you exactly how I do it you take one cup of almond flour and one cup one and a half cup of mozzarella cheese and two tablespoons of cream cheese and one egg beaten so you take like in this container, basically what I did was I put the one and a half cup of mozzarella cheese, the two tablespoons of cream cheese, microwave for a minute and a half, pour in my one cup of almond flour, put in my one beaten egg, mix it together, and I got this. So you need it for a little bit, uh, microwave for a minute and a half. I don't know if I told you that. And then I have it now in four pieces. I'm going to keep one for pizza which i'm going to use to make later so each serving is four grams i'm um, four net carbs not four grams four net carbs so right here this is four net carbs four net carbs okay so this is for the pizza i'm going to be making later this so what are you doing don't eat that that's gross come here give it to me oh boys all kids in general okay i'm gonna put it in the ziploc bag put it in the freezer and i'll keep it for pizza all right, so one of them I'm going to be using to make um, you know, like those Jimmy Jimmy Dean sausage rolls thing. All right, so I bought from Dollar Tree. So I got four Jimmy Dean patties. You see that? They came in one package. There's four of them. All this for just one dollar. And I'm going to be making four Maybe more than four. I might, be, I might actually do this in eight. So I'm gonna, I'll show you. Once I'm done, you will see what this looks like. So this is the before, and this is what it looks like after. So um, some of them are not as pretty as they can be, but that's okay. They are healthy and tasty and homemade and inexpensive and really, that is a gift. So it turns out I could not cover one serving of the fat head dough with all four of them and i'm actually okay with that i'm just gonna use that to make dinner tonight 
So that's one serving of fried head dough and two Jimmy John patties. And I'm gonna bake it for 10 minutes when my timer goes off. And then I'm gonna teach you what I do with the next two servings. All right, remember, Keto FM is fitted to you, so do what you want. If this seems really weird to you, don't do it. So basically, I'm making bagels, um, maple flavor bagel and orange flavor bagel. So I just put two teaspoons. You see that? All right, good. Two teaspoons of maple um, extract and one teaspoon of no, no. I don't know why it just it scrubs me so I'm gonna knead it and I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the end I'm gonna make this dough and then the orange flavored dough and then I'll show you what it looks like all right that's my maple um, flavored bagels it's like the easiest thing honestly after I put them together I kneaded it again nice and soft and then I I just took like a handful, just <laughs> take a handful of it, roll it on your hand, like, you know, Play-Doh, and make that. And that's literally all I did. Nothing fancy. All right, so now the orange one, it is this one, this one, this one, and this one. Some of them are a little bigger. If you want to make it, if you want to make your bagel bigger, hence thinner, that's, you know, it's yours. You decide how big you want it. Now we're going to put it in the oven along with a little um, patty balls and see what it tastes like in 10 minutes so while the bagels and the whatchamacallit <laughs> is in the oven i'm gonna make homemade cream cheese spread strawberry flavored cream cheese spread um so just have a handful of strawberries and you know i don't i don't measure right now how much i'm putting in when i do scoop it on my bagel I might measure it we'll see but right now I'm just like I'm just gonna pretty much scoop all of this in this and a little bit of pure vanilla then a little bit of this you decide how much you want but that's how I make my homemade strawberry spread that's what it looks like this is the before this is the after and yes it does look very liquidy because I put mine in the freezer and I'm like thinking Esther what if I want to eat it right away good question more cream cheese less strawberries so you know the ratio you decide how you want it and oh my gosh it's so tasty so when i put it in the freezer i want to bring it out it's a lot less watery if you also put um heavy cream with it and you put it in the freezer it makes it also thicken up and guess what's done all right, so I'm sure you heard my son near me, so I had to move him away. So he's not in the oven when I opened it. Um, so this one kind of popped open, but that's okay. It doesn't make it any less delicious, right? Um, so here is one serving, another serving. These things are very filling. So maybe you want to make yours more like three servings or two servings, but you know, I eat pretty late uh, with my schedule and it's more like brunch. So, this is my breakfast for tomorrow. I'm probably the one for, you know, not the next. I just don't eat the same thing back to back. Um, just break things up. And here are my bagels. Are they pretty? Do they look like regular bagels? No, but I'm not eating pretty. I'm eating healthy, right? So, you can tell me it's maple flavored because it's like the darker brown and then the lighter one are the army flavored one. <gasps> it smells so good, y'all. I wish you could be here for this. But that is the end of today's video. We have our spread. We got our um, Jimmy John's. I mean, no, not Jimmy John's. Jimmy Dean's little rolls. And we got um, this. There's so much more you can do with fathead dog. You know, like pizza and corn dog and all that. But I'm excited. I hope you try this this week. And hopefully, Zion will let me enjoy it. <laughs> Alright, bye y'all.